Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to an Elgato tutorial about multicam. And if you're asking yourself, what is multicam? That's a good question. And the answer is, that's the ability to do multiple HDMI inputs from different sources. For instance, I'm rocking a DSLR camera right now while playing Black Ops 3 Live, and this is my live recording quality, live uploading quality, same as the streams and everything else that you're familiar with here on the channel. So in case I don't actually get kills in the beginning, uh, that's just gonna be embarrassing because that's how live works. Anyway, I want to show you how to do exactly the same quality and said see that's the, the tricky thing about live sometimes commentaries don't work right but anyway I want to show you how to upload and do live streams in exactly this quality with Elgato HD 60 multicam in order to make this work though you're gonna need two Elgato HD 60s and that's not because I'm greedy or because I hate you but you need one capture card to process each individual HDMI input and then you can get multiples going on and the benefit of that is number one I think that's a good capture card number two you can swap from between scenes really really fast and you can have a really high quality webcam like say my webcam here is looking really nice because it's not a webcam I'm gonna go ahead and swap over to full DSLR mode and you will see that it's actually a DSLR camera that I have set up admittedly a lower end one but we'll go over that in a minute I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of Black Ops 3 and show you exactly how my setup works all right, so right now this is the back side of my computer, and I know that may be more than just a little bit difficult to see, but I've got two Elgato HD60s plugged in. I have only one HDMI going to the top one, and I have two HDMIs going to the bottom one. That's because when you run multicam, for some reason, in order to get the regular game capture software to work, your console needs to be plugged into the very bottom HD60. So I've got my standard HDMI in and then back out to the monitor. Whereas for the one on top, I just have a single HDMI input that comes straight from my DSLR camera. DSLR that I'm using is a relatively inexpensive Canon Vixia. You can see that I'm filming myself here, but I basically have it plugged into charge. And then on this side, you can see the HDMI out that, if I can make it focus, there we go, that goes straight to the second Elgato HD60. So anything that this DSLR camera sees is going to be outputted directly to the stream in any quality that I want, and I can set it up. Admittedly, this is kind of a cheaper camera. There are much better ones than this you can use, but this one just kind of fit my budget, and it was very simple to set up. So at this point, you need to make sure that you have the Elgato Multicam software installed. As of right now, as of recording this video, Video. The program is currently in alpha or beta, so you need to be part of Elgato beta and you need to specifically request it. It is not available to the general public, but I'm making this tutorial early because in a couple of months it will open up to the general public and everybody can do this. But if you want to do this today, you need to contact support and request the special software. If you're watching this a couple months from now, you can just assume that it's available for public download. Also, I would like to point out that the software requires multiple computer restarts to fully install. Typically, you would install a software and restart once. This one takes two or three times, and it's actually a relatively slow installing update. All right, so now we're in crazy infinite OBS mode, but I'm going to show you how to set up your multicam. What you want to do is come down here and you want to add a video capture device. Now I've already got some of these made, so I'll show you how I set them up. We're gonna add an existing. I'm gonna add my DSLR so you can see me talking. Okay, now I'm at the very forefront of the page. Let's go ahead and resize me just a little bit. Uh, that's, that's looking crazy over there. And in order to make it select the right one, it's kind of backwards here, the device that you put on top is going to be number two. It won't say Elgato HD60, it'll have Elgato HD60 video number one and number two. Just thought I would point that out. It's best not to play with all of these, leave default device resolution, match, and all this is pretty much default. And then you can come and add your second video capture device, which in this case is going to be my HD60 Pro, which will be my gameplay. I go ahead and do that and you can see the game I've got here put the game down there and then it's just a simple matter of resizing however it is that I want it or I can move it down one and yeah once once you're at this point you're pretty much set there's not very much else to do other than basic OBS setup I mean you'll need to add your own microphone and your overlays and stuff like that but as far as multicam goes it really is just that easy as long as you're using the beta software and you have the two capture cards and because of this I can get fantastic I could probably get better webcam quality than what I have right now it's just that I'm lazy and cheap and I don't want to buy a more expensive one oh that's the dog's couch that's a different game and this is my deal 
DSLR. It makes it very easy to transition scenes into very high quality 1080p. And I would also recommend getting a nice light. I can go ahead and show you what happens here when I turn off my lights. So with no native lighting, you can see that the quality takes a big step downhill. Definitely invest in some good backlighting. Well, guys, that's all for this quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. Of course, it's sponsored by Elgato. I've been using their products for ages. They're linked down there in the description. And I hope to see you guys doing some multicam soon. Drifter out.